Again, my name is Sean, and tonight we're just going to be going over just creating some quick templates um, using our text effects tab. Um, so with the text effects, they're going to make all the text live templates so we can <laughs> quickly edit everything. Awesome. Well, be safe out there, Jerry. Awesome. So yeah, so we're just going to create some different live templates. So the top three are pretty basic, just some shapes, and then the bottom two will add a little bit of clip art in it too. Um, so just to kind of get a feel for everyone, have have you guys used the text effects yet? Are we brand new? Brand new, a little bit of, okay. Use it every day. All right, so a little bit of everything. So <clears throat> pretty much we're able to create just brand new designs using these text effects. And by setting them up using the envelope shapes here in our text effect tab, they're gonna make everything live templates. So the live templates are what we can easily edit just cause I know we got some new people in here. So that's what we're gonna use the live template editor. You'll see everything over here. This is gonna list all the text. Now we can quickly edit any of our designs here. So we're just gonna run make it run through making some different designs and how to save them and getting these uh, different textiles ready to edit. All right, so at any point, if you guys have any questions, just um, just ask away in the chat box. And as I see those come in, I'll answer as many as possible. Um, Catherine, do you know if the issues have been resolved using Corel 2019 in the wizard yet? Um, I'm not sure. Um, did you let the call center know that the, about the issue? Yeah, I'll write that down. I'm not sure what the status is on that. Okay, so it looks like someone else mentioned that Brian had, or Brian fixed it on her 2019. Um, so, Catherine, I'll try to, I'll write down the information right now and I'll have Brian reach out to you. All right, so <clears throat> we'll start with our two designs up top here. Now what's cool about the live templates is as we're building these, instead of having to create different styles as we go, we can start with a one color and make the same design quickly in a multicolor design. So we'll go ahead and move these ones over. And we'll start with our first design. So under the preset effects, you'll see a couple different drop downs when we're using the text effects tab. So you'll have your one color text all the way to your three color. Now this is a special way we set up the three color live text. So as we make a design using this, I'll show you how to get that cut ready as well. And then we have our flat shadow. So it's just going to be a duplicate right behind it and you can actually change where you want the shadow effect down here. So if you want it to the left, top left, top right, bottom right, you can change that effect down here. Same with our block shadow. So we can change that here. We can change the color of the background as well. And we can change the size of our contour for the two and three color live text. So with our first design, we're gonna just stick with our one color live text. And we're gonna go ahead. So the way you, you can do set this up a couple different ways. You can actually write out the text you want first and shape it, or you can just simply select the text shape you want. So right now we're just in a flat shape. Hey Meyer, welcome. And hit apply and it'll just drop a text field right on your text or your page here. Let's just go ahead and actually move these to a new page just so we can see the fine text area a little bit better. So now I can hit find text. You'll see the word text. I can select that 
and now this is a live template so I can make that the pirates so let's make this one Braden River okay. so this is going to be our top part here so the next thing I'm going to do is just make that a little bit smaller So the next effect I'm actually going to add is going to use our text spacing. So once we create a shape using our text effect, what it does is it, it puts it in an envelope for us. So now it's stuck in that envelope. So when I go to my edit tab and use my text spacing tool, it's going to spread out the letters and not move it from the shape of that envelope. So each time I click it, the letters are going to get further apart, but it's not going to adjust the height of my text at all. Make that a little bit shorter. And I'm actually going to add a space in between my two letters, or my two words. And that just helps because we added so much space between the letters it just helps show that there's a little bit more space between each letter or between the words all right so now we're going to go back to our text effects this time we're going to select our arc shape arc bottom and we're just going to hit apply again now again it's always going to start it at 10 inches wide if it has a contour or a shadow it'll be a little over 10 inches uh, that's just kind of like an average you know size for the t-shirts but we can adjust these um, however we want once we hit apply we can make this a little bit smaller or larger if needed all right so we have our text and then again we're just going to add our bottom one here so another so you actually won't see the shape where it's just straight like this in your envelopes but if you select an envelope and you just hit on the arrows it will revert back to just a straight text so if you're stuck in like an envelope shape but you just want it to go straight across like our brain river just click the arrow it will revert back to just being a normal text hit apply and now we have our new text field so I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. It's going to fit across just like that. So when we're creating these live templates, if I hit find text now, you'll only see the word text once. So the reason we do that is when we set up our live, our three color live text, in order to change everything, the same word at the, so with our three color live text, it's two layers of text layered on top of each other. So to change them both at the same time, we want it to only read one text. But on this one, we want these two text fields to be different texts. So what I need to do is hit show all, hit find text, and then you'll see both of them listed. So if you only hit show all, or you don't have this selected, it's gonna select text, but it's gonna change both of them at the same time. So when we want to change just one of the words and it's going to go by height. So it's going to read the pirate, the top pirates first. If we want to just select the bottom, we'll hit show all. And then I can change this to a new word. And if I unclick this now, we're good because we'll just see, well, actually it's going to show athletics twice because up here, um, but we'll just see the words once. Now, just to add a little bit more to this design, we can grab our basic shape and our star tool and just throw a couple stars in our design. And then same thing down here. We'll add a couple down here. And then once I have one side, just line that up, make a copy and bring it over, and then we'll just mirror it. We can make that a little bit smaller if we want. Okay. 
So now we have our new live template. So I'll delete this one, hit find text, and now we can make this whatever we want. So we got Brain River, find text. And make Lakewood. Yeah, so these aren't welded right now, the stars in the text. So you'll only, but if you wanted to switch these out, you could switch them out with whatever clip art, the stars, any clip art you wanted. So let's bring this down a little bit more. And let's just bring this in just a bit. So now, since we have our one color design set up, now if we go back to our text effect tab, I drop this to three color. I select my Mustangs. Actually, first let's make a copy. So I can just select my Mustangs. I don't have to reselect the shape, but if I hit apply, it's gonna automatically make this design a three color. So with my Lakewood up top, Let's go ahead and make that a two color, hit apply. Now, because my text is so large, my outline is set to 0.125 right now. So my overall design is around 10 inches, but because this text up top is so small, that's why this boundary or this contour around it looks so large. So if I reduce this ahead of time, and hit apply, it won't make it as large. So we'll probably need to set it, let's go to 0.4. And I'll show you how we can change it regardless. So let's select Lakewood, 0.04, and that looks a little bit nicer. Now if we ever need to adjust the contour, we just click on the contour, so that's gonna be the red part. And then I can come up here and either make that larger or smaller, however I need to for this design. So make the inside white. Same thing with athletics. Now we know it's good around 0 0.04, so hit apply. Let's go ahead and make that white. And now I have a multicolor design with the same layout. So this is how, this is our special three color live text. So what it does, it, it looks like the white is the background. When we put a background color behind it though, you can see that the white actually isn't cut out yet. So when we wanna get this ready to cut, to pull or subtract this white through our text, all we have to do is go down on our live template editor to merge three color live text highlight that text field, merge three color, and now you'll see it just subtracts the white right through, and now we have our finished design. So the reason to do just a copy was, and make it a two or three color design is just to give your customer different options. So instead of just the one color look, now we can quickly make, once we set up pretty much the one color, we can use the text effects tab and make it a two or three color really quickly. Um, I'm, I'm in the, someone asked what wizard I'm using. I'm at the 5.5 upgrade. Now, if you have the 5.0 at all, you'll have the text effect tab though. Yeah, exactly. So we're just trying to upsell the customer. You know, we can sell a basic design like this, depending on your market, for anywhere around probably 17 to 22 bucks. And then we can give them the, uh, the two color option or three color option, whatever we decide on. And we can upsell them again to, you know, 25, 30 bucks. So any questions on the first designs or any questions on the live or the text effects? All 
So now again, we'll bring this design over, just recreate it. So on a design like this, this is, you know, pretty a basic, maybe decal, something like that, or even um, a basic t-shirt. So nothing too much to it. We can make it a two color with the live text, um, possibly even a three color or even a one color as well. So on this one, all we did was simply use three different uh, preset effects and then put a circle or oval around our design. So first thing we'll do is select or start with our middle. So we did a three color live text. I'm gonna click over here <clears throat> and I'm gonna select our squeeze effect. So down here at the bottom, they have different names. Um, so you'll see when I hover over it, it will say um, text effect squeeze. So that's the one I'm using on this one. So we're going to select this one here. You'll see the effect change up top. I'm going to hit apply. And again, it's just going to make this right around. Um, so with the double contours, it's going to be right under 10.4 inches. So because this is vectorized, though, we can always adjust the size um, to fit whatever we need. Right. So the next one, we're just going to select our arc shape. This is just going to be a one color. Hit apply. That's just going to drop right here. And we're just going to make that a little bit smaller. And maybe even pull it out just a little bit that way. Now the bottom, apply. And then same thing, we'll make that a little bit smaller and then pull out the sides just a little bit. All right, so now again, if I hit find text, if I don't hit show all, you're only gonna see the text show up one time. As I hit show all, find text, you'll see each text field. So on this one, Go ahead and type Brain River. Let's go show all. So on that one, this is where, let me go back and I'll show you why I did that real quick. So on this one, because I had show all, you'll see text two different times. So this is two text fields layered on top of each other. So I want to go back and hit find text so it only shows up once. And now I can change it all at once. And I have my last down here and we'll just write club. Um, so the dashes around the name up here, there that was part of the text. Um, so it, it would only, you can use whatever character you want, but it would have to be part of the text. So not every text has like the dashes and stuff like that. So if it, if it's part of the text you're using, you can, if not, um, you can, you, you can maybe place just like a additional clip art there instead. So someone was asking if we could switch out the hyphens for other characters. Again, as long as they're part of the text, no problem. If they're not then we need to, we'll have to find either a text that does or place it like as a cliff part instead. So if I want to change the contour colors at all, I can come up when I select the contour. So that's going to be the red here. It'll, there's a little drop down with the paint can and I can make that whatever color I want. So we'll just make that blue. Click to, there we go, froze on me for a second. Make that gray. And then this is where we're just going to draw our oval. Just going to center that. 
bring it in. And now by on the software down here at the bottom, you'll see this B. That's just going to move that object to the back layer. And then I'm going to I have my blue down here. That's the same as the blue here. So we're just going to make that the same color. And then I'm just going to bring these in. Make those white. And now we have our design. And once they're in uh, the live template, templates you can use whatever text field you want or whatever font sorry whatever font you want to use so it will hold to whatever font we we have there with this one we'll have to do it one by one So we can always change the text to whatever whatever style we want. Hey Toy, welcome. All right, so any questions on our second design? Hey, Eddie, welcome. Um, the envelope will work if I want to make a circle instead. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is what you're asking, but if we wanted to go around like the top of our oval shape, so if we wanted text around our design like this, instead of like using a shape like this and trying to bend it around your text to fit. What we want to do instead is use a text to path. So if you write out your text, let's say I want a Braden River again. Pick a different font. So on your TRW toolbar, you'll have this A that's on a diagonal line. It'll say fit text to path. So now you can select that here it will lock onto the oval shape and it will go around the side. And if you keep typing, it will continue to go around the circle. So you don't really want to try to make an envelope shape that goes too far around like a circle. You'll want to use the text effect feature instead. And you can pull it all the way around and away from the circle, however you want. All right, so saving these for future use. Now what we want to do is we want to save these designs before we get them cut ready. So we always, we want to save like a copy of this. That way we can easily go back and edit when we need to. So if this needed to be Lakewood football classic, I can change that in a second. So we want to save it as a template just like this before we start getting it cut ready. Because once we get it cut ready, we won't be able to go back and edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to just once we're in Corel, or we'll just save it in as a Corel file. So we're just going to go to File, Save As. Now, if you want to go to your packs where all your other live templates will install to, this is going to be your shortcut to get there. So it's going to be your C drive. They're going to select Users, Public, Public Documents, the Rhinestone World, and TRW Templates. Now, once you have this folder, what I would recommend is grabbing this folder where it says TRW templates, coming over here to your side, and it'll say pin to quick access. So I already have it here, right here. That way you can always get there really quickly, and you won't have to remember 
this whole path where you go to C drive, users, public, public documents, the Rhinestone World, and TRW templates. So once you get here one time, just select it. If you scroll up, you'll see this little drop down that says quick access. So make sure that's open and you'll see all these folders that I've dropped here that I try to, you know, use a lot. So I'll just select it. So you click and left click and hold and just drag it. And then you'll wait for it to say pin to quick access. And then that way you can always just, when you're saving files like this, you can select TRW templates. I have a custom template folder right here so I can save it to that. I can save it to a sports folder. I can save it as an indiv individual template if I want to. So however I want to save it, I can just save it as car decal, simple template, whatever I want to call this. And I'll go to my custom templates, save, and now it's saved there. Um, no, everything doesn't have to be grouped. Um, you can group it if you want. Um, when we when we like save our designs and you open them, they'll come in as a group file, but you don't necessarily have to save it as a group. All right, so then we had another question with our text, our um, text to path. So let me get all that text off there. So let's say we had our text, and again, I'll just use Brain River. And if we try to put this using the text effect, or using the fit text to path, if I try to put this on the bottom, it's going to be upside down. So to reverse this, once it's on there, you're going to select your text and up top here, you'll see mirror horizontally and vertically. So we're just going to click on both. So left click, left click. It's going to adjust your text a little bit. So just bring it right back down wherever you'd like it. And then it'll be right side. Now, if there's too much space or too little spacing too, you can go back to your text effects or your text um, text spacing. So on your edit tab, text spacing, and this will increase the spacing between each letter. Yep, so if you wanted to bring it to the inside of the circle, you would just select it and bring it right in just like that. So any other questions on the text effects or saving or text the path? Yeah, so when you, when it's set up, great question. When you set it up like this, this is considered a live text too. So if I hit find text, it will be Braden River. Now, the only difference in the text to path or a text that's on a path can compare to something we make in our text effects is once ah oh shoot I just applied it to this brain river text that's already on a path so it might might crash my computer oh no nope, just made a weird text all right so apply so when you use a text effect like this when I click on it you can see the shape that it's in so whatever text I put in here it won't leave those boundaries so I could put Lakewood Ranch Mustangs 2019 and no matter what it's gonna stay in that five inches it's gonna be five inches wide no matter what however if you're using a text on a path like this when you hit brain river if I type Lakewood Ranch Mustangs I know I spelled it wrong um, 2019 as you type more it's going to continuously go around your object that it's on a path so this oval it's just going to keep going around 
Now we can make that smaller, so I can just select my point size and I can make that very small and then it's fixed. Obviously we wouldn't want it that small, but that's how we would adjust our design. So if we wanted a lot more text here, we'd have to make that text smaller so it fit properly. So this one again is a pretty simple design. All we did on this one is add a little bit of clip art to it. Right. So we're just using our shapes. We're going to do a two color live text. We're going to hit apply. Just move that right up. Select the bottom, same shape, apply, move that right down. And then all we did was take the rectangle tool, make one going all the way across, center that, bring it in just a bit. Same thing with our, or just make a copy and bring it down. And then to get back to our normal text, we just did one color and hit the arrow and then that makes it just a regular text again hit apply just gonna bring that text field down and fit it right inside our piece here I'm gonna make a copy and I'm just gonna hit apply again and that way it, it creates a new envelope around our text field here So we're going to show all. And now we're just editing the text. Let's go ahead and we'll make that white and then Go ahead and we're going to add a little bit of a bigger boundary here. So that's just selecting the contour, making that a little bit thicker. Then we'll just change. I'm going to select the eyedropper, click on the orange, and that way I'll make it the same orange. And now we're just gonna add our clip art. So once we can use any clip art, right now I'm just gonna hit add artwork and we actually have like a fire fleece pack. Um, so we can use that. So we have our helmet here. Bring it right in, just size that in the middle. And now this is a grouped object. So if I add a contour, we'll make it white. Make it just a little bit smaller so we can see it. Right. So now the way we set this up, obviously right now it's just a nice you know, firefighter design and we can bring this a little bit smaller if we wanted to so we can read a little bit more make that black match but just because it's set up right now as a firefighter design we these live templates even when we like when you purchase a sports template pack we can make a totally new cat like a new design from it so we can go from a sports or animal to a kids design so same with the designs we're creating tonight now I can just come through and select the top. We'll do Sarasota. We'll do 
center, back, number 15, so on. And then I'll select my helmet here, hit change artwork, go to my sports pack, select the soccer ball, and then that's just going to switch it right out. Oh, it had a couple layers, so it switched it with three of them. So we're just going to move that, put it right in its place. And if I want to add a contour or a boundary around it, then I have my live temp or my live template editor. So to get this design cut ready, what all I have to do now is we're going to select our design, hit break apart effects. And what that does is breaks apart our contours. Now I can select my soccer ball, hit remove shapes behind, set that contour about 0 0.04, and it's just going to cut out around my design just like that. So I can do the same with my white. Go ahead and make that gray just so we can see it. So if I want to get that three color look at this point, I can just hit remove shapes behind, remove shapes behind. And actually, we'll set the contour as well. And now I have my design. So we can go from, you know, once we set up these templates, we can switch them out with whatever clip art we want. So any existing clip art you already have, you can switch out with these designs. So any questions on our last design? <clears throat> All right. So the next one, again, we're just using a couple um, text effects and then we're just combining them with some simple clip art. So on this design, all we used is some clip art from one of our summer packs. So we just have a sun and a little palm trees. And then we just use our text effects to create the text. So first thing we'll do is we can add some artwork. So we have our sun. Again, that's from our summer live pack volume one. So you'll see all the different options we have in here. and choose this one this time. And the next thing we'll do is set up our text and then we can add the rest of our clip art. So make that a little orange. We'll go to our text effects. And on this one, we're gonna do a three color live text. We're just going to make it kind of going vertical up to the right. So that's called our wave, no, slant up text. So again, we're just going to hit apply. It's going to go right through our design just like that. Go ahead and bring that down. And we'll change that. Spring break as well. And let's go ahead and change the text to, or the font. All right, so real quick, I wanna show you sometimes with our contours, do you see how when I have the contour set like this, how bad some of these letters look? Now that's because of our original font. If you zoom in, you can kind of see how jagged some of these letters are. So if you have a contour that starts kind of getting really jagged like this, what we want to do instead is up top here, when you select the contours, you have different corner types. So if we select round, it tends to fix a lot of those spots where you'll see the contours kind of coming off. All right, so then we'll do a one color, same shape, 
hit apply and we're just going to make that one fit kind of at the bottom here. So what we did next is just made our rectangle shapes again, made a copy, and you can either weld or group these together. And then we're just going to kind of raise them up and fit it within our text. So let's go a little bit smaller actually. Raise it up again. So if you click on it twice, you'll get those arrows and we're just going to fit these right across. And actually what we can do first is when we have these set up like this, when we have both boxes selected, so this is why we want to group it together. If we hold shift and double click the rectangle tool, it will add another box around both of our new rectangle. So let me add a little color to see, to show you just what we did there. So I have my original rectangles right here. And then I just created this box that's going to go around both of them. And I'm going to end up making that box just a little bit bigger. And I'll show you why in a minute it will help subtract out through our sun. So we're going to select all three. And again, we're just going to double click and we're just going to shape this right around our sun, just like that. So now if I move my sun to the back layer, I can select this little green piece here, select the sun, back minus front, and then that's just going to trim it just like that. So now I don't have to worry about any pieces layering together. And we can actually save this for now because we're going to want to probably trim our tree, our palm trees as well. So right now we, it's set up fine. We have our text here and this will be our location spot. So we can write out Sarasota. This is going to be our little flutter font that we we have. All right. So now we have our text set up. We can go back to our add artwork. Summer live templates and then just find the palm trees or whatever clip art we want to add to our spring break design. Pack one. So you got our palm trees here. Just gonna put, raise those up a bit. And then we're gonna use the software again. I'm gonna select the palm trees and the sun. So I'm gonna select the palm trees, hold shift, select the sun. Click the B, that's going to move them both to the back. Just going to raise that just a bit. And now I can group my sun and palm trees together. Select this green piece here. Before we do that, let's make this just a little bit taller. So I'm going to select my green piece, hold shift. Now all these are grouped in the back. We're going to do a back minus front. That's just going to trim everything right out. And now I can edit however I'd like. So with my palm trees, I can leave those as a clip art 
or if I know that I'm going to always keep those there with the sun and just want to change spring break in Sarasota, Florida, then I can use my magic boundary and that will just crop those right out. And we got to raise this side just a little. So just like that. So just with a couple clip art images and the text effect, we have, you know, brand new designs. So we can easily just switch these up. Now, if you see something like this in one of your texts, that's just Corel sometimes will act up like that. So if we select the design or that text field and maybe make it just a little bit bigger or smaller or adjust the contours, usually that will fix that issue. See if we switch the text real quick. There we go. So yeah, sometimes with the contours they just kind of block each other out. But just by adjusting it, usually it will fix that issue. There's just something going on with that O in that one. Yeah, so again, you'll want to save it. I just trimmed these ones out just so we could see everything, but or just because we didn't want, I didn't want to have to layer anything. But when we say we would save it like you see here, that way we can easily go back and edit anything we wanted to. So we could edit the Sarasota, Florida or the Phantom Reunion to say whatever we'd like. Now, if I selected this text here and hit Mercery Color Live Text, now this, if I try to hit Fan the Reunion and change it, it's not going to edit our text on this side. So you don't want to get it cut ready, or you want to at least save a file before you get it cut ready. That way you can always go back and edit it. Alright guys, well if there's any additional questions, just give us a call at 941-755-1696 or shoot us an email at info at the rhinestoneworld.com and always remember, ask for Gabe.